Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are here today with a new series of tutorial called Tiny ML and IoT on the edge using Jetson Nano. All right, guys. So before we proceed further, so I would like to give you a heads up that we need to have a Jetson Nano 4 GB uh, RAM uh, module in our hand for this particular series. Uh, you may, you know, pick up from anywhere either from nvidia site or anywhere else and apart from jetson nano we will also require a small microphone a usb microphone something like this which i bought it from amazon it's it's pretty cheap it just costs about say over 150 rupees so it's, it works really really well for this particular series at least and you may also need a usb camera this particular uh, uh, this particular version of uh, Logitech, it's pretty good, CT, uh, C270, I believe, yes. So this is a USB camera, which you will be using along with Jetson Nano and the microphone for tons of other lessons using tiny ma machine learning. All right, guys, so this is an introduction video about what I will be showing you in upcoming series of lessons. So let's look at what, what exactly is tiny ML. So tiny ML is nothing but it's it's a specific field of study in machine learning and embedded system which basically explores different types of models you can run on a small low power devices like microcontroller this also includes Arduino okay not not necessarily that you may have to deploy the model into Jetson Nano but you can also use Arduino I'm going to show you step by step in a later series uh, Tiny a tiny machine learning, uh, it also enables a low latency, a low power and a low bandwidth model inferencing at the edge device. You, you deploy an object detection on, on, on say Arduino uh, BLE and it, it's a very small microcontroller, right? You can just deploy it anywhere you want running with just 3.7 volt battery and you can do object detections and kind of thing. That's what you're going to learn. While a standard consumer CPUs consume about 65 watts and 85 watts and a standard consumer GPU consumes anywhere between 200 to 500 watts. A typical microcontroller consumes a power in order to milliwatts or microwatts. That's around a thousand times less power consumption. So it's, it, it makes a lot of difference guys when it comes to the scalability and stuff. This low power consumption basically enables the tiny ML devices to run unplugged on batteries for, you know, probably even for two to three months. And in some cases, even years together, you can just deploy the small microcontroller with it with a, with a you know, kind of this kind of 3D printed uh, box and a camera and a microphone and several, several other sensors connected. It will be in a small form factor. You can you can put it in a jungle, you know, in a forest. You can start gathering data of anim animals running around. And there are so many millions of opportunities, right? So what are the advantages of tiny ML? So let's let's take a look at one by one. So basically, you know, it's a low latency, right? Since the model runs on the edge, right? It's not on the cloud or neither on your local machine. It's It's just at the end, at the edge. The data doesn't have to be sent to any of the server to run the inferencing, right? So this basically reduces the latency of the output what you receive. And uh, the other big advantage is low power consumption. It can it can run just with 3.7 volt, uh, you know, 8650 uh, rechargeable battery or even a little bit uh, higher. This basically enables them to run without being charged for for almost about three four five six months right depending upon what kind of application you are using and also the privacy aspect since the model uh, the the machine learning model is running on the edge your data is not stored in any of the servers so it's absolutely secure right and also what we are going to learn in this particular series is uh, you will use machine learning to build a system that can recognize you know audible events you know using using this microphone so particularly your voice through audio classifications right so the system you create will basically work similar to hey siri or okay google you know that kind of devices and is able to recognize keywords or other audible events even in the presence of any other background noise or or you call it as a background chatter right 
So you will also learn how to collect the audio data from the microphone and use those signal processing to extract the most important information and train the deep neural network that can tell you whether your keyword was heard in a given clip of an audio or you will also finally able to deploy the system to an embedded device either either on a Jetson Nano or, or, uh, or a Raspberry Pi or Arduino or, or ESP32 or any of those series. At the end of this particular tutorial, you will have a firm understanding of how to classify audios using the Edge Impulse platform. So just to give you a heads up, there is a platform called Edge Impulse. I'll show you what exactly is that and we will be connecting uh, the Jetson Nano into the Edge Impulse platform and do the processing and training and stuff like that. Okay, so that's where we are. We will also learn about the most imp uh, interesting aspect of this particular series. You will use machine learning to build a system that can recognize and track multiple objects in your house, in your environment, either within your house or in your office or any, uh, any of the public places. Through the camera, we will use this USB uh, camera and a task known as which is called the object detection basically. So uh, adding sight to your, basically you are adding a vision sight to your embedded devices, right? And the embedded device, again, it can be your uh, Jetson or it can be your Arduino or ESP32 with camera, anything. I, I'll show you step by step how we can do. So we, uh, other aspect what, what I intend to cover in this series is basically recognize the sound from the audio. So you will use machine learning to build a system that can recognize when a particular sound is happening, a task known as audio classification, right? The system you will create will be able to recognize the sound of a, say for example, um, a running water or a fan, you know, fan, fan generally at your home, it, it, it generates a very low intense, low frequency uh, sound, which can actually detect from that as well. Even in the presence of any other background noise, so all those processing can be done. You will also learn how to collect the audio data from this microphone, what we are going to plug, right? <clears throat> and use the signal processing to extract the most important information and train a deep neural network, which can basically tell you whether the sound of, of uh, the running water from the tap can be heard in a given clip of audio or not. And then you will deploy that particular model, the trained model into your Jetson Nano. And you can run the inferencing and see how, how you know, it, it's going to be really exciting guys. And of course, we will learn a couple of other things like sight to your sensor. Now, what does that mean? So you will use machine learning to build a system that can basically recognize not only the objects in your house through a camera, which is also known as image classification and collected to, to your, which is basically connected to your microcontroller and adding sight to your embedded devices that can make them see the difference between uh, you know, uh, the, the each classification, what you classify. So let me give you an example. For example, in, in a forest, there are illegal poachers, right? And there are elephants. So you can classify elephants and the poachers who are trying to hunt the elephant. You know, I'm just throwing a random example. So you can do that in this particular lesson. Or you can use your uh, remote control cars uh, at home, a toy car and build this build a system on top of the toy car and make them as a self-driving autonomous bot. So that is also possible. That's what I'm going to show you one by one. All right, guys, so stay tuned. And uh, this was just an introduction lesson, a lesson about uh, the tiny ML uh, and IoT. We will also learn about how to connect multiple sensors in Jetson Nano in parallel and try to capture the environmental uh, sensory information and try to do some processing and build a machine learning model on that. I'm going to be back soon. Stay tuned. Do subscribe to this channel and watch it out. Bye-bye.